Hey guys, Lex Alice here, continuing the let's play of Silent Hill where we left off last night, part 14. This is part 15. Uh, we just faced a hospital, picked up the antique keys, I believe. We have to head to the antique store. So, yeah, let's go. Also, I just want you to know, my get thing didn't save copy my emulator, so I had to do the whole basement part from the last video all over again, just for you guys. Just for you. You better hit that subscribe button. One thing I have to add is see the hospital, right? We've seen it all bloody and gobby. I find it really creepy. See this? That bloody and gobby stuff's just an action game to me. It's really creepy with the banging noises like you've heard me commentating, right? But I find this creepier. It's not as obvious. Because this looks innocent. Innocent with a bit of something's not right here. But see when it's dark and not, you know that something bad's going to happen. I mean, it's sort of obvious. So it kind of makes it almost easier. Yeah, let's check the mappy. Now I bet the place we have to go is right at the fucking end of the shop or something. Miles away. Okay, let's see. Did you hear that noise? Did you fucking hear that? Uh, so freaky, right? I think I need to go right up there. Antique green at the top there. Typical. That noise is really fucking freaking me out. Honestly, man, that doesn't stop. I'm going to go off my nut. The fuck is that? Oh, it's enough to get a fucking headache. Switch back to handgun just to get 100% sure, you know. I hate these things. These are meant to like represent a, le a lesser sphere of adults because they pin you down and stuff, so. But I heard she might have been abused by a father or something, so fair enough. This game is really dark. Like, behind all the, the gove and stuff, this game really is something else. Okay, where the fuck are we? Let's find out. Okay, so we go up here, left and right, so we stick to the edge of the street here. I'll probably miss about a thousand pickups, but right now I'm beyond giving a fuck. Not as if I need them, but I'd like them. I want you have 25. Health drinks. Oh, here we fucking go. Fun days. Don't even start. Yeah, no nice, is it? Oh my god! Can't exactly like, turn it off, can I? Because then you won't be able to detect enemies. We'll be fucked royally. Okay, let's keep going, running along the street. Mr. Sandman's behind us. Running along the street as fast as we can. Fast as we can. Fast as we can. Go check this this bit out first. In case this will be healthy, Packy. Oh no, I'm planning something just quite a chain because now sometimes like before they'll scattered along the engine part. Let's go to the antique store. Get myself a vintage zipper lighter. And a 50 switchblade so I can look real cool. Hey, you got one of those sharp leather jackets? It's the antique shop key. Oh no. Here we go. I don't like the look at this place already. Clock, nothing special. There's nothing special about a random grandfather clock. I understand it's an antique store, but come on. None of this stuff is any use. Take it anyway, it's worth money. Take it anyway. Okay, and why can't I get in? Come on. I want to push the cabinet. I clicked that before and it wouldn't let me. Silent Hill trolling yet again. This is the part where I need a key or something that I didn't pick up. What's so. this? Huh? Harry! Sybil? <sighs> Dead ass. I'm glad you're okay. I should have 
shouldn't have left you. This music freaks me the Things fuck out. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I wanted to be with you. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? She means sniffing too much coke. Darkness devouring the town. Must be on drugs. Exactly, see? They sell them to the tourists. The four still can't figure out who's behind it. It's Tony Montana. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. This lady's first, you know that, Harry. Hey? No, I'm going. It's cause she's a woman, isn't it? You sexist right. bastard. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Do you what know anything him? about, well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. Maybe you're on the drugs, too. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see what's in here. Anything good? What's this? 
some kind of altar. Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Hey, yeah, you. Man, does that look freaky? An axe, huh? There's an axe taken. I wonder if we can use it as a weapon, or if it's just some stupid thing that you have to place into a statue or some pish. We we'll try it. Out. Equip. Let's see. Hey, you. Hey, you. Fucking hit me the axe, hey, money, money. Oh yeah. You hard, eh? Fucking. There you go. Fucking laughing now, I can fight ghosts. <laughs> We're saying, what the fuck? Oh, they are. Oh, I've, <laughs> I've got 187, I thought only I had 12 there. What the fuck happened there? Okay, let's have a quick look here. Anything good here? No, apparently not. The door's jammed, a lot can't be on. I love how we won't examine that wee thing that clearly looks like a safe and probably would have something important in it. Oh wait, we got it back out this way, I'm gonna be... Oh, what's this? No good. No god. <gasps> what the? She goes in there on that fucking wardrobe, Harry. moves back over. Pokes his head out. Hi there. Who's hiding? <laughs> Isn't it funny? No, it's not Harry. Because we're surviving here and we're trying to fight for our lives, you fucking immature asshole. Where am I? I'm surprised he's not handcuffed at the bedpost for her. Thank you, bitch. Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? Pretty now you are here. Nothing you need to worry about. Babe. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, it was drug trafficking central. The townspeople here were on the quiet side. Doped up to the eyeballs. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. We were all gay, okay? Even the, the girls. Stuff. That's we why it became a tourist attraction. Kind of 69 everywhere. As girl on people girl. Moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Tripping off your nut, it's insane. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. And stuff's potent as fuck. Everyone was so flipped out. Happens when you play with hot knives. And a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. Bastards don't want to share the goods. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, ten years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? I'm used to waking up Did face down on the again? floor. Oh yeah. It's 
this is probably one of the most epic parts of the entire game. In fact, there's no music, no talking, just text coming up as the camera pans round. Fantastic. Anyhow, I think I'm going to end this part here. Now we'll see enough cutscenes for one day. I hope you've enjoyed this. Part 16 will be coming soon. Keep on watching. And since I've done all this hard work for you guys, please hit the subscribe button and give me a like. Thank you. Have a nice day.